Hi, it's David Tracy with the Autopian here with Jason Torchinski. It's like 7.20 a.m. on a, a. Sunday. Yep. And the greatest car show in the world is happening right now at Galvin Motors. The Galvin Car Show. And we have our own Autopian corner here at the Galvin Just Car Just quickly show. talk us through what we have here. Okay, we got a, a Bantam delivery van. Extremely rare and extremely ridiculous car. We have a Berkeley Sports, Berkeley 328. Very fun little micro car. We have a POP50, basically the smallest production car ever made. We have a Messerschmitt cabin roller, a fantastic little car with like a canopy, like an airplane. And of course we have David Tracy's YJ, his Jeep, nice and filthy, parked on a rock. It's good stuff already. Yeah, and it, looking around, there's a ton of good stuff already here. Look over there, look, there's an Edsel wagon. We're gonna talk to some owners here. It's 7.20, so the only people who are up are, let's be honest, old timers and yeah. you know what old timers love cars probably more than anyone so like i'm excited lot. uh let's go talk to some owners huh all right howdy how you doing Good, how all right so uh we're just talking to people as they're here you're a model a owner are you a happy model a owner i'm a very happy model a this, owner this is your first owner no, i'm just kidding no <laughs> almost <laughs> it's, kidding. it's been in our family since 1952. that guy's got a rat well, fink the, the rat fink yeah. yeah jason you gotta look alike down there george yeah i do don't i the rat fink. Hey Jason, you want to stand like it? Stand like the rat fink? We have similar hair, actually. We have similar hair. <laughs> it's a big Chrysler wagon. I mean, you yeah, can you fit two full-size adults yeah. in this back seat, and you have plenty of room. And a dog. Is, this is built like a truck, right? If it's you guys want to sit in it, you're welcome to oh, sit yeah. in it. I want to sit in it. It's amazing, that. actually. Oh, and you got an extra little, that's actually a really you know, smart thing. Also, yeah. Jason is among the taller human beings, so this is a great representation. Whoa! It's actually plenty that comfortable. That is crazy! That's yeah. Very well, see, the thing what you do is when you're a kid, if you had the window done, you take like an apple and you put a bunch of like uh, matches at light and you put them in there like a porcupine and then you chuck them out the window. <laughs> what? That's what you know, kids used to do on long road trips. I don't remember doing that. Oh yeah, it's a good time. How you doing? You mind if I talk to you real quick? I'm, I'm David. What is this He's thing? Not gonna hear 1929 Model A. Rock Rod. Did you really just sell? It's incredible. What, what's the working engine in it? It's a small block ZZ430 from Camaro. Beautifully done. What about that? You do. Hot damn. Wow. Okay, get ready to have your mind blown, okay? This showroom right now is absurd. Yeah. So many Ford GTs. Well, you, there's one, you know about the, the exciting one? I think the coolest one here? Okay. This one from the Peterson. So the Peterson. These are all Ford GTs. Uh, yeah. All of them are pretty much priceless in their own way. This one, though, is an unusual rare one because this was one made to be sold as just a streetcar, one of the homologated ones. So it has things like chrome badges and wow. like it was designed. This is like not a race I car. I think this is a 66, I want to say. I think so. And this is from the Peterson collection. Yep, it's on loan. And so they were racing these. They were, this one wasn't meant for racing, but they were racing yeah, Ford GTs, but, but, had to homologate them. Also, I never understood that rule. If you're going to race a car, then you must sell a street I version. think because ostensibly they're supposed to be like cars anyone can buy. Also, Stock cars. and they have more appeal that way, I feel yeah, like. Yeah. You can actually buy that car. Exactly. Though. But I like what they did to this one, like with the chrome mirrors and the badges and the wheels, the wire wheels. Like they tried to make it like civilized, even though it's a monster. Well, wire wheels feel out of place on a sports car like Well, this. they do because it's, you know, they're like dressing it. It's like putting a gorilla in a tuxedo, kind of. I got the guy with one hand gets the mic. <laughs> How did that work out? And it's it's kind of heavy too. Yeah, no, it's not easy. <laughs> my left arm's been tired from like, doing everything and making up Hang the it. work. We could swap. So look who joined us. It's Bo. Yay, um, I made it. We're here at uh, Galpin Volkswagen. There are a bunch of Volkswagens. Yeah. The VW I, Takeover. It's amazing because Southern California is one of the best places in the world for air-cooled VW culture. Absolutely. And it's some great stuff. Like right here, this is a 61. You want to know what? Here's how you tell. Okay, here's how you tell this year. Yes. Wolfsburg Crest, that stopped in 63. I saw that. Oh, I like that. Okay. okay, so you know it has to be before 63. Right. Has the, then the other way to tell is, oh, look at the lights in the back. These okay, are the, which lights? The snowflake tail lights. Okay. These ended uh, in 62. They changed to the bigger lights. And then uh. finally, no gas gauge, because that was also a 62 thing. So by process of elimination, this is 61. See, I like shorty over here. Yes, this is a weird trend, but I love it. I love it too. This this is rad. It's almost a cube. It's almost a perfect it, cube. It is. 
I bet the ride is really smooth too. Oh, oh absolutely. Did you know this thing just gonna... like that? <laughs> oh god, yeah. Look at the, look at the wheel. So cool. The wheel base is what, like a foot and a half? Hey, uh, Bo, you you that's, uh, that's the the, uh, the, the new Lotus, Lotus. Uh, Avaya, right? That's what that is. Two thousand horsepower. Look at that EV oh. supercar. How many of these exist? I'm not sure yet. This is going to be the American uh, display unit. Oh well, wow! Well, here's our fine representative from Lotus. Oh yeah. So so Simon's in charge of uh, the Avaya program. Yes. I think everywhere in the in the world. So global head of sales and marketing for wow. Lotus Advanced Performance. So I have the amazing job of looking after this. Uh, uh, you, you know, when you, advanced performance, this kind of just yes. it, this it, wraps it up in it, one it, easy go. That this yes. is wow. very advanced performance. This is. Pure electric hypercar, 2,039 PS, wow. 1,704 newton meters of torque. Uh, the world's most powerful production car on sale today. Um, are carbon these the fiber lights? tub, carbon this fiber rim? skin. Yep, these yeah. are the LED lights LED designed to look like the afterburners yeah. on a jet. Um, yeah. Jason's looking for the best place for a bumper sticker. This is, this is the, so, yeah, this is a, it's okay, think, uh, right? Yeah. Right there. Right, I think right this, in the this center. Is a, this is a step, right? Isn't that a step? Yeah. Is that the, yeah, is that the step? step to yeah, no, no, for the loading the cargo board. in the rack. You yeah. can have your dinner on the rear spoiler. There we go. Wow. Now we're talking. <laughs> okay, we got our Starbucks. This Bose dealership has a literal Starbucks in it. Fantastic. And, uh, we're, we're one man down. We're down a man. Jason, I think he got distracted we lost by him. some... DKW or something, I don't know. It, it, it's hard to keep your attention going here. It's a, there's, a, there's a lot to get, uh, you know, fact, uh, distracted is, with. Yeah, we're going to end this video. We, we, we want to keep looking at cars. We don't have to worry about we're gonna like, go looking there good. Yeah, let's go. Cheers. Oh, that way. Oh,